So what's the difference between KVM and QEMU? Well, KVM, kernel-based virtual machine, and QEMU, quick emulator, are both used for virtualization, but they serve different roles. KVM is a Linux kernel module that turns the Linux kernel into a hypervisor. It allows the host machine to run multiple, isolated virtual environments called guests or VMs, virtual machines. And what about QEMU? QEMU is a standalone software that performs hardware virtualization. It emulates the machine's processor through dynamic binary translation and provides a set of device models, enabling it to run a variety of guest operating systems. Interestingly, QEMU can work together with KVM. When used with KVM, QEMU can run applications and operating systems designed for the original hardware architecture on a different architecture. Can you give me an example of how they work together? Sure. When you use QEMU with KVM, QEMU acts as the device emulator, providing I.O. emulation, while KVM provides the CPU and memory virtualization. This combination accelerates the performance of the virtual machines. Here's a basic command to start a VM using QEMU with KVM support. In this command, what does each part do? In this command, QEMU system x86 underscore 64 starts a VM with an x86 underscore 64 CPU architecture. The enable KVM flag enables KVM acceleration. CPU host tells QEMU to use the same CPU as the host machine. The drive option specifies the path to the VM disk image and its format. Here it's a QCOW2 file. Finally, M512 allocates 512 megabytes of memory to the VM. Is KVM better than QEMU in terms of performance? KVM generally offers better performance by leveraging hardware extensions like Intel VTX and AMD V. However, QEMU is more versatile since it can emulate a wide range of hardware platforms, not just x86 and x86-64. So, the choice depends on your specific needs. KVM for performance, especially in a Linux environment, and QEMU for broader hardware emulation. Are there any specific use cases where one is preferred over the other? Certainly. For example, in production environments where performance is critical, KVM is often preferred. But for software development, especially when developing for multiple architectures or testing across different hardware setups, QEMU's flexibility makes it a better choice. Thanks. This really clarifies the differences and how they complement each other. You're welcome. It's a complex topic, but understanding how these tools work together is key in the world of virtualization.